You may have noticed thousands of runners from all around the world and the country took over Tulsa streets for the Route 66 marathon this weekend. The marathon half marathon and relay races drew a huge crowd to downtown. It's just really chaotic trying to get around. Hey mom. Nine year old Keenan Vincent cheered on his mom as she took off for her race. It's really fun to do it. She's been training a lot. Proud. And all of the athletes overcome overcame obstacles today, pushing through their races one mile at a time. And News on Six's Amy Slanchik is on the story to show us how volunteers help people with special needs finish strong. Four, three, two, one. As the Route 66 athletes take off, they're not all on their feet. But the desire to cross the finish line is the same. 26-year-old Andrew Stevens loves running. When he did his first fun run and he watched all those 5K runners come in, he was hooked. This is his first half marathon. He has had serious knee surgeries, so he's not able to run long distances. That's where Ainsley's Angels steps in. Volunteers with the nonprofit are called angel runners. They are truly angels. They run the race, pushing each athlete rider along the course. They just make him feel special. And Andrew has a way of making the volunteers feel special too, encouraging them through each mile. He sings to them, he, you know, gets them to go faster. I love my girls. <laughs> Andrew has Down syndrome. As he and five others with special needs cross the finish line with pride, he's had a blast. Yes, yes, and your first half marathon. His mom discovers this is really only the beginning. They're trying to talk us into a marathon, <laughs> which Andrew would love. We'll just have to make sure we have runners that can handle us. <laughs> That's a long time, but he would love it. Ainsley's Angels is pretty new to Oklahoma, and the group is always looking for volunteers. To find out how you can get involved, visit our News on 6 app. On the scene, on the story in Tulsa, Amy Slanchik, News on 6.